No way are we filming a drive with me. Welcome back to my car. What the hell? Honestly, guys, I drive like a boy racer now. Like, I drive so low down, so I need to... <laughs> readjust my seat so you can see me also this might come off because i don't have any blue tack and i don't have just the stuff that i used to use to put the camera in place because i don't know where it is um but i wanted to do this before it goes dark so we're just gonna have to you might fall off the dashboard basically anyway welcome back guys i basically thought i would do a drive with me today because i haven't i haven't actually been up to that much this week so oh, what are you gonna say oh oh yeah, I haven't actually been up to that, that much this week. Oh no, it's not gonna stay. So I didn't really vlog, so I thought instead I would film a drive with me. I'm just gonna go grab a Starbucks. I actually asked you guys on Instagram as well for some questions for me to answer, because I thought we haven't actually had like a catch up in ages. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today's video. Come on then. Yeah, it's currently Saturday and this is going up tomorrow. So let's see if I get it up tomorrow. <laughs> no not today satan but yeah that's basically what today's video is going to be just a catch up drive with me like the old days go get a starbies and just chill welcome to my channel just chill you've had a hard week put on this video forget all your worries and just chill this is literally gonna fall off so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna catch you guys when i get there and then we'll park up somewhere because it's just not working for me it's not working for me swear to god guys people cannot drive today I just opened the back window. Welcome Starbucks, what can I get for you today? Hi, please can I get the strawberry and oat, uh, what was it again? Strawberry and vanilla, sorry. Um, yeah, latte. What size? A medium with oat milk, please. Yeah, absolutely. And do you have the vegan tuna sandwich? Beyond meat breakfast sandwich? Uh, no, it's like a, it's tuna sandwich. Oh it's yeah, the tuna sandwich. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Indeed we do. <laughs> can I have that please? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Right, so I've got a medium strawberry and vanilla oats latte. Yeah. And a tuna sandwich. Yeah, perfect. Brilliant, that's £7.64. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. I have not done this in so long, but... <laughs> I feel like I want to do drive with me more often because I'm literally always in my car but the only reason I haven't done them recently is because as I said I'm always in my car so I'm driving to work like an hour there and back every day um so at the weekend I literally <laughs> never get in my car because I'm like I'm tired of it but I think I want to do like one a month at least because I really enjoy doing them and when I like get a setup properly and the tape or whatever I need will actually film the drive but we tried guys, we tried and that's all that matters. Okay, I'm gonna take this down because I'm still embarrassed to have it up. <laughs> oh my God, guys, we made it before the sun went down. Oh, I feel so gas right now. Honestly, my car smells like strawberries. This is a strawberry and vanilla latte from Starbucks. And it is honestly like, if you like sweet drinks, you're gonna like this. So cheers to beating the sunset. Oh, so good. And then they have a vegan tuna sandwich. I feel like January is the best time for vegan stuff because it's like Veganuary and places just come out with loads of stuff. So I got the tuna sandwich. I haven't actually eaten yet. I haven't eaten lunch yet. But as I said, today's video is mainly just to catch up. Let me just try this first and then we'll get into it. Mmm, that is honestly so good very fishy which is kind of alarming because it's vegan but we're just gonna move past that anyway let me get on to the questions slash topics your experience getting a job in the social media field i get oh, i get a lot of questions about this just because i think it's just an interesting thing to a lot of people and also i know a lot of people want a job in that area um so yeah let me just try let me get comfortable because i'm really not right now let's bring you guys a bit closer so we can really there we go so my job is if you're new around here if you haven't caught up in a while basically well the job title if we're gonna get you know specific is content and engagement executive which is essentially you could call it like a social media exec basically so it's creating content for social media reporting on social media i basically make tiktok content instagram content facebook all that kind of stuff so if you do want to see like more of me and you're learning to drive and that's why you're here then definitely go follow drive and test success because i mean i'm not just saying this we 
put out some really good content and like helpful content that's what the channels are there for um and it's like a massive learner driver community so if that's you i genuinely think that you could benefit from like following the socials and just get yourself into the community because there's a lot of helpful stuff there anyway that is where i work that's what i do that is my job i can't believe that is my job like if you could give me a perfect job and like a job that suits my experience and just my life in general to a t it would be that job like it's just unreal and as i said the journey to getting it is a whole different story and i've got a podcast episode on it but and i'll be honest a few years ago even i don't think jobs like this existed but because social media has grown so much and because marketing has changed so much and because having a presence on social media can be so beneficial for businesses and companies especially when dealing with younger people and obviously we deal with learner drivers so it kind of works hand in hand um these roles are coming out like i feel like this role it was a probably a newer role for them to recruit for just because as i said social media hasn't always been around and obviously they before i even started were massive on social media especially tiktok so when you've got that amount of people to kind of make content for and cater for they basically got to the point where they needed someone to solely do social content just because the demand was there and obviously creating content thinking of ideas engaging with people replying to people all that kind of stuff it is it takes a lot of time so obviously they needed to grow their team in that way and <laughs> that's where i came along so yeah that's basically how it came about that is my job and like i said i didn't think jobs like this existed or i did but i thought they were very you know far and few between but i think these kind of jobs are getting a lot more kind of popular but i will say if i hadn't got a good few years of experience for me doing youtube under my belt then i don't think i would have got the job because i don't have like a marketing degree i don't have any qualifications but what i did have was hands-on experience actually creating content editing you know talking with that like literally every day i am communicating with that audience like you guys are that audience and obviously as i've grown up you've grown up so yeah obviously they're a slightly younger audience because they're all learning to drive but i think with that kind of job with anything marketing and social media i'm gonna be blunt and i'm not gonna lie you are going to need some sort of experience if it's not anything like qualification wise or if it's not anything traditional you're going to need like some sort of portfolio for example i had my channel as my portfolio that they could like look through and see what i could do um and for them that obviously worked for them and that's what they wanted me to do for them basically which is just mad and it is my dream job like genuinely i love my job guys i love my job i've never been able to say that in my life like i genuinely do and the stuff i've already got to do is just so cool um so yeah if you're looking for a job in social media they are out there but you just need to show basically just show what you've got and show what you can do and if it's the right company they'll go for it new vegan food that you've tried i want to try the new vegan burger king chicken nuggets i didn't even know burger king did vegan chicken nuggets but i want to try them too yeah i feel like january is the best time to try vegan stuff as i said because it all comes out in january for veganuary um that tuna sandwich from starbucks is really good i also had a vegan pad thai from wagamama the other day vegan burger king is oh the vegan chicken royale vegan mackies i feel like this is just exposing how much i order food i had the mcdonald's mcplant yesterday at work so good like honestly i think i like it better than the big mac because i mean in my time i've had a big mac a few times when i've been drunk let's not lie and it's been good but the mcplant is just really it's just go try it if you're on the verge of trying it go try it where else i feel like supermarkets are really stepping up their game with vegan stuff they have like vegan galaxy now they have vegan biscuits they have vegan cookies they have vegan ice cream i think it's just a lot easier to be vegan now even oat milk and stuff a lot of people who aren't even vegan way prefer it um so yeah a lot of places are doing a lot of good vegan stuff so is there going to be any restock slash new merch in the future <laughs> i feel like i should ask my brother this um honestly guys as much as i enjoy doing the merch and all of that stuff i'm not gonna lie it was 
a lot of work not just for me i mean i barely had to do any of it it was a lot of work for all of us my brother and his girlfriend too because they were doing this all from their house they were making it all sourcing it all designing it all like i was just there to basically say what i liked and what i didn't like and they were doing all the work and because it was so time pressured i think especially for the birthday merch which was the prints and the bracelets and the cards and stuff it was just very stressful to do it within a month um, but I really really enjoyed the whole process and being able to interact with you guys in a different way you guys received the merch because we did two like merch drops so much better than I could have ever imagined because with that kind of thing there is that element where you feel nervous because what if it flops right and it 100% was not a money making scheme because you have to invest money into doing it anyway and you guys know that that's not my vibe anyway um but yeah it was just it was just so cool to see that so many of you wanted to like kind of wrap the channel which is so weird but it was true like even with the first merch drop which was stickers and the starbucks cups and stuff it was kind of like we all had like a little connection because we all had like a little piece of the channel if you know what i mean so yeah in those experiences i think i learned a lot and as i said it was very enjoyable and we all like they did so well i think we did so well as a team to send everything out package everything design everything ourselves within three people especially during a pandemic i think we did really good um so yeah i definitely would want to do much in the future but it's just finding the time because i think i now know how much time it will take and obviously because i have this job now and the life is just crazy right now it's just finding the right time and there definitely will be and i definitely will do it i love to do t-shirts or something not with like alicia jasmine on them just something cool that you'd want to wear you know um so yeah it's definitely in the pipeline i definitely want to do it i definitely enjoyed it but learning from last time we know what it takes now so it's just finding the right time but trust the timing of the universe guys self-confidence if anything is going to give you self-confidence it is putting yourself out there <laughs> on the internet for people to comment on and to be honest guys i have not had a rough time with it like i feel like my audience and you guys and us as a group are just they're on the same level you know i don't know why i've been blessed with such a good journey and why i haven't had a lot of hate and had like a really bad time with it not saying it won't come but please don't come i've had a few iffy comments but nothing compared to what a lot of people get um so yeah i think social media made me confident in the way that even though i haven't had a lot of bad backlash i had the fear of it when starting it especially from people that i knew i thought oh my god they're gonna think i'm weird because i started this years ago when not a lot of people were doing it as in who i knew of um so yeah when it came to kind of telling people and making it more public i was shitting it guys i've always tried to explain it it's really hard to explain but there is this part of me like even though i'm such an anxious person in general there is this part of me that can put all of that aside especially when it comes to putting myself out there in this kind of way there's a part of me that can put the fear aside and just go for it and i don't know where it came from i genuinely don't but i think youtube and social media definitely help with that because i just kind of have the, this like i'll try it like i'll try anything i'm not too scared of people seeing me fail because there's been a lot of things that i've done a lot of videos that have tanked a lot of things that i've said i'm gonna do and haven't a lot of just a lot of stuff that hasn't gone the best that i'm aware that everyone can see and i feel like even if they think in the split moment oh that's a bit embarrassing it just people move on so fast and i know judging by the way i perceive people that even if i think a certain thing about someone it doesn't like it's not going to be on my mind for a week it's not even going to be on my mind for an hour like it just goes because people have their own lives i think what you have to understand is they don't really care that much and as i said if they do it's not for long because as i said they have their own stuff to do so yeah i think that's a major thing in terms of confidence i think confidence has a lot to do with what you think other people are going to think which i genuinely i can genuinely say from the bottom of my heart i do not i do not care what other people think i don't i don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing can get me into trouble sometimes but it is what it is i've got to where i am today because i don't care what people say and she can spit bars crypto i know apparently you're supposed to do it i don't know guys ghosting you on dating apps sis come here come here for a second come here come here for a second don't even sweat it i can promise you i can promise you 
that guy is gonna come back. And that's if you haven't blocked him yet, because I don't blame you for blocking him. I'm not gonna lie, I've never been ghosted, only because I genuinely, this is just something about me, I genuinely don't talk to that many people. Like, I don't go past a certain point because I just, I don't know what it is. I think it's probably a bad thing, but I don't even get to that point with people. Um, doesn't mean I haven't been effed over, 100% have been. In terms of being ghosted, I'm not gonna lie, I've never been fully ghosted before. I've been ignored before, but it's never been like a, they've disappeared and then never came back just because as i said i haven't put myself in that situation enough times what i can say from what i've heard and what i can say from just life in general people always come back and mainly because they want something from you especially if they see that you're living your best life without their presence people can't stand that shit especially guys they cannot stand that shit so the thing is the thing with this is okay yes it's a blow to your ego it is and if that happened to me, I'd probably cry for a week, especially if I like the person. But you have to understand that it is obviously on them and they don't have the emotional capacity to explain themselves. So they just feel like they should ghost. And a lot of the times from hearing friends who've been ghosted because my friends are bad bitches, it's because they're intimidated. It's because they don't, they want to leave the situation before you can. They want to leave the situation and make you look dumb, even though you're not dumb before you can do that to them because they're intimidated by you they think you're gonna find someone better they have security issues within themselves and it's first of all it's normal to feel upset it's normal to question things it's normal to be like oh my god what's wrong with me because obviously you're gonna think that if someone's just completely ghosted you but from what i've heard from life in general from just paying attention to people and how they act it is all to do with them and nothing to do with you so just carry on with your life move on and it's going to benefit you either way if they come crawling back they come crawling back if they don't you've already moved on and that's on that have you ever had a boyfriend how do you feel being single is this my mom have i ever had a boyfriend no have i dealt with people yes am i still dealing with the trauma yes but have i had a boyfriend no as i said before i don't <laughs> i don't i just don't like if i'm out i don't talk to people necessarily um i'm not the most approachable person to guys i would say because i just i mean you guys know my face it's basically this but yeah again just how my life has gone how things have panned out i just haven't found myself in that situation i mean how does it feel <laughs> i won't lie to you guys during school and kind of uni i didn't really have the interest like, i think that was a lot to do with my own self-confidence and me thinking that no one would go for me as sad as that sounds um and then obviously after uni and when i did start having a bit of an interest in guys when things didn't work out i would always take it back to myself and be like okay what's wrong with me and i'm not gonna lie there's even days now but i'm like okay it's gonna sound really sad because it kind of is but i'll just kind of think like wow i've never been like chosen by anyone i know it's not just up to someone to choose you but i've never been someone's first choice because i feel like when people are in a relationship like they've got each other's backs like they're each other's number one i've never had that and i feel like i don't know there's times even now where i do catch myself thinking about it and i'm like geez like what i don't think there's anything wrong with me but like what is going on like why is this not happening for me but um yeah i think when i was younger it definitely was a confidence thing and i was like okay well what can i change about myself what is it that i'm doing what am i not pretty enough but now it's more of i'm starting to understand that it's just it's just how my life is in all honesty though i think i am ready at some point to have a boyfriend so as i've said many times before if you're out there come pick me up life is stressful the pressure of still being a virgin in your 20s whoever don't you piss off whoever i don't know if it's yourself putting this pressure on you or other people but if it's someone else i'm in my car now i can go give them a visit i i've never really spoken about this topic a lot but my advice would be this doesn't define you it's not a part of your personality it has nothing to do with your worth just like if you weren't a virgin has nothing to do with your worth i feel like sex has just become this thing that holds too much value to how others perceive you like yes it is a big thing to some people and yes it is a big part of life and relationships and it's important in a lot of ways 
but you should never feel pressure to do anything in your life ever if it's about outside pressures then it's not going to be real and you want it to be real so yeah if you're not ready or if you just haven't found yourself in this situation before don't sweat it it will come when it's natural you'd rather it happen naturally than seeking out to find it because that's when you risk doing it for the wrong reasons and things happen for a reason like, it's not to say that that would take anything away from you again like i said being a virgin doesn't make you better than anyone it doesn't make you worse off than anyone having slept with 10 people doesn't make you any better than anyone doesn't make you any worse than anyone the only thing you should be focused on is being a good person external things like that have nothing to do with it so that's my stance on that how does it feel working for a driving company after your driving journey <laughs> mad is how it feels i can't believe like okay i can't believe it but i can't fathom the fact that something that happened so long ago has had such an effect on my life today and is literally the reason i got my job and now i do this all day every day like obviously i shared my journey about driving and that was kind of what was the start of my channel and its growth i just kind of thought oh yeah that was just part of my life it was part of a great part of my life where i learned a lot about <laughs> how resilient i am but that was kind of where i left it and now that i am literally speaking with learners people who have passed their driving tests failed their driving tests on a day-to-day -day basis when I speak to them, it feels so natural because I've had all this experience and I've had my journey that I had. I think that's why it doesn't feel like work because it just comes so naturally to me because I've been in that situation and because I've got this whole past. It feels surreal, but I feel so lucky and grateful that is my job because another thing is that I'm so happy I can do a job now that actually makes a difference because something that I learned during my driving journey is how big of a deal it is like how much it can affect you how much it can upset you how much pressure it can be and the fact that i can now be working for a company that offers advice guidance a community for all these people and is actually like we're told on a daily basis how much we've helped people it's very rewarding just hearing that so i feel like i'm actually making a positive difference like social media fun stuff aside the actual message that we're getting across and the actual heart behind it is so genuine so yeah it feels it feels good it really does okay i'm gonna do one more because it's literally i'm gonna need to start lighting my face with a torch pressure of doing things when you hit 25 i didn't know that 25 was gonna feel like such a big age but if anything it felt bigger than 21 it felt bigger than 18 and i don't know why like it's just it's 25 like what i think for me i pictured my life very differently at 25 then it's turned out not to say i don't love my life like i love life right now guys i think when i was younger i thought by 25 certain things would have gone down and they haven't like for example i thought <laughs> i'm not gonna lie, i thought i would have had a mum by now but it is what it is at one point i probably thought i'd be married by now and maybe a kid on the way uh, and that's definitely not happened I'm sure my mum thought that too but it is what it is but yeah i think for me 25 in my head and i don't know why was always this age where I thought my life was going to be together but the more I've grown up and just experienced life the more I've realized that life never really gets together I don't know if that's depressing or comforting but it's true because even when you reach certain things that you think you've always wanted it's always the next thing or there's always going to be something you want more there's always going to be the next goal and I think that's good I think that's the way life is like you otherwise we'd all stay put and we wouldn't move forward but the best thing to do is be in the present moment appreciate the smallest things like i will go to bed at night just thank the universe god for another day literally waking up another day that is what i'll be thankful for and obviously for my family and friends to do the same but if there's one thing you can guarantee is that there's going to be some shit days and there is going to be some hard times but you can also guarantee that there is going to be some good times too there is going to be some amazing highs and i think you just have to remember that when you're experiencing both if you're going through a hard time you know it always gets better and if you're going through an amazing time it wouldn't feel that amazing unless you'd had a hard time before it so yeah so yeah in terms of pressure of doing things by 25 i think it's good to have goals i think it's good to set things for yourself to work towards I think that's what keeps us moving forward but in the grand scheme of things you have to be grateful for the very basic things we have you could have everything you ever wanted by the time you were 25 but the thing is it's very rare that what we want or what we want to do or achieve 
stays the same i know for me personally when i was 16 i wanted totally different things to what i want now um so yeah that's my advice on that this is going a bit cold my voice is also going but i really enjoyed today's video i actually really did but yeah if there's anything you want more advice on more content on help on you want me to talk about more just let me know but yeah i'm gonna go i love you guys a lot if you haven't already subscribed make sure to subscribe um follow me on instagram and tiktok oh my god i haven't said that in so long i think that's it i've kind of forgotten how to end these kind of videos but i'm gonna go i guess <laughs>